When it comes to washing your negatives, there's a few ways you can do it. Uh, what I've been doing for many years is using the developing tank, I would fill it with water, shake it vigorously several times, dump the water, and I would repeat the process several times. But that's time wasted. And if you can use that time for something else, why not have a proper film washer? Taking photography in college, I remember using those cylindrical uh, vessels to wash the film. You would just dump the film in there and the water would just run over the film, washing it for X amount of time, 10, 15 minutes. After that, you would pull it out and hey presto, your film is washed. For the last couple of years, I've been experimenting with different ways of washing the film. One would be taking the actual developing and shaking it vigorously and that, that worked well. Again, it's a time waster. So then I switched over to uh, a small pump that was from a wet table saw used to cut tiles. I would plumb a piece of uh, hose in it and I would uh, stick in a tank and it would just run on its own for 10 minutes while I did other stuff. But that required electricity. When you mix electricity so close to your, to your um, developing sink, that's not necessarily very good. So a while back I came up with this. This is my go-to film washer and I'll show you how it works. But let's go over some details of how it was built. It is nothing more than a 4 inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe that you can get it from Home Depot or any other home improvement stores. An end cap for it for 4 inch and a brass fitting. And the reason for brass fitting is so you can actually hook up a hose to it. So what I did, I cut it to a certain length and the length was determined by how many films I'm going to wash in it. So I never developed more than two 120 films at a time. So two 120 films take about five eighths of the entire height. And the idea is that when you hook up the hose to the bottom of this um, contraption, the water will flow under pressure. It will go past the film and it will spill out over the top and you leave it in a sink hooked up to the hose for 10 minutes. I tried to not go over that. I never had issues with a film being washed for less than that. But you want to you want to let it run for definitely more than a few minutes. 10 minutes is, is probably good enough. So this is what it looks like. I just simply drilled the hole and I forced this uh, threaded barb into the into the contraption. So let me hook it up to the actual sink and so you can see how this thing is supposed to work. So what, what I end up doing with my sink is, and you don't have to do that, I just did it to have an extra hose connection. I added this piece of, um, added this spigot here to the corner of my sink. And that spigot is originally designed to be used with your washer uh, water supply for cold water supply. So I just drilled a hole through the sink and I added uh, a T to the existing um, line so I have a working faucet and I have working hose thing. And I use this hose connection here to connect my film washer but I also use it to rinse uh, prints for example salt printing or cyanotypes I use it to initially uh, rinse some of the chemicals or uh, pre-wet the, pre the prints. So it's, it's a simple device. You take this um, latex hose which is very flexible and it, was, it, was, it wasn't cheap. I bought like 30 feet of that for some reason because you couldn't buy them in smaller rolls. So all you do is actually attach this hose onto the barb and now when you're ready with your film, you take the whole entire spool and you dump it in there and it works very well. And then just let the water run. And you just leave it and it will, water will rise to the top. As you can see, it will start spilling over the edge of that washing 
device. For the lack of better um, name for it. The water's coming up, as you can see. And it just um, spills it over. And I just let it sit there for 10, 15 minutes until it's done. When it's done, I simply dump the water. And what I do at this point, I fill this contraption as is connected with distilled water so I can now put my um, wetting agent in it and then I'm done with the washing the film and I pull it out and hey presto, it's done. When it all, when it's all taken care of, I empty the uh, cylinder and I place it here on my sink. So that's it. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you got something out of this video. Uh, this simple contraption costs only a few dollars to make and it may not look professional, it may not be the best, and it may not be washing the print, the, the, the films, better than um, commercial uh, film washers, but, but it works very well. And from what I learned in the past, um, really, no matter how you wash it, whether you shake the uh, cocktail in a developing tank or, or you simply let the water run through it, as long as the water washes it, I think you're good. So until next time, keep shooting film. Keep the film alive.